So this is a game we made. It's called Rocket Riot. Um, it's a dual stick shooter for the Xbox. Um, and recently we ported this game to the Windows Phone. And what I would like to talk uh, about tonight is um, an interesting uh, problem with porting a game like this to the phone. And it's how do you move um, a control scheme that uses two joysticks to a touch screen. Uh, let me first uh, explain the control scheme a little bit. This is one of the very earliest dual stick shooters. Uh, it's Robotron. The idea is that you've got two joysticks. One of them moves your character around the screen, and the other one shoots bullets uh, in any direction you want, uh, independently of where you're moving. Uh, this is a modern version of the dual stick shooter. Uh, these games have become very popular late, late, lately, uh, partly because of how uh, controllers these days incorporate two joysticks, and also because of the rise of downloadable arcade games. Um, Rocket Ride is also a dual stick uh, controlled game, only uh, it's a bit different. Uh, the controls are a bit more like uh, something like Lunar Lander, where if you don't move your joystick, your guy will fall down. But if you move it up, he'll enable his jetpack and start flying. Um, for the shooting, which is the other joystick, you've done uh, also something non-standard. Uh, you basically aim in a direction, uh, hold the joystick to charge your bazooka, then you let go, the joystick snaps back to the center and off flies a rocket. So how do you port this to um, a machine such as this? Now what usually what games do is they just define some virtual joysticks. You can actually buy like a real joystick to put on the virtual joystick if you want. Um, here are two virtual joysticks in Rocket Ride. It's basically just two circles and you put your thumbs on them and that's your joystick. Um, this is how we started at first. Only this doesn't work at all. It obscures like half of your screen and it's very imprecise. So what we had to do is uh, make some uh, rough decisions. And uh, our control scheme, we just had to get rid of it basically. Uh, we simplified it greatly for, uh, for gameplay. So the whole gravity thing is gone. Now it's just move down to move down, move up to move up. Um, the awesome shooting mechanic which kind of feels like a rubber band on, the, on your Xbox. It works really well, but it doesn't at all on a, a touch screen. So that's just changed into move your finger along and your guy will shoot in that general direction. Um, yeah, this sounds kind of like no-brainers, but when you're used to the Xbox version, um, the moving and shooting is a big part of the, of the skill of playing the game. So cutting that is quite, uh, yeah, quite a hard choice, but it worked out pretty well. Uh, something else we would like to do is get rid of that last left joystick that was still in. Um, and we kind of made it invisible at first, but it's really hard to lose the joystick when, when you do it like that. A lot of virtual joysticks have that problem because you don't feel anything. So what you kind of want is like a smart joystick that can read your mind and knows what you're trying to do. Um, this is a bit too far-fetched for us. So what we actually try is, uh, this is our first experiment. It's just a joystick that will start wherever you press on the screen. So if you ever lose it, like here, uh, it'll still kind of keep working, but this doesn't work. But then you tap again, and there we go. Everything's fine. Um, this turned out to work pretty well, except that you have to know what's going on. Because if you don't draw that joystick, and somebody just starts playing the game, you'll be super confused, because you know sometimes you press somewhere, and you're flying, and then the other time, uh, you just stop because you lifted your finger and the thing uh, moved with you. So this is the second iteration of our system, where the joystick just kind of follows you around. So it's actually comparable to playing a regular joystick on the table and just kind of dragging it around with your finger. Um, yeah, here are some results of this new uh, thing. Uh, the, the first one I kind of liked is uh, Manor from Bashos. thought it was better than the original control scheme. Um, then I looked at like the 10 first uh, reviews that mentioned the controls. So we're all quite positive, except for these two. I don't know what, what the first guy is talking about. He got the hang of the controls and now he's hooked. I, I guess that's good. And uh, contorted puppy here and uh, feels a like joystick would be better. Which is a shame, but it's kind of true. Oh, um, this is like a little uh, thing that we didn't think about. If you go wild while swiping and firing rockets, you're going to hit the Windows button and your game will crash out. <laughs> Quite a big problem in reviews. Um, yeah, our test phones had like separate buttons that were much harder to press, so we didn't know about that. 
<laughs> yeah, that's just a little look into uh, developing a game. One of the things you have to deal with. 